What's going on boys, it's Daddy Big here, and welcome back to the series where I talk about other people. And, um, yeah, I, as <laughs> if you've been keeping up with the talking video series, you'll have heard about my cruise by now. Yes, I am making another video about it, so sue me. <laughs> but, um, so far I've talked about the journey of getting there, one of the events, swimming with the dolphin, small moments of bravery, all that good stuff. But, um... I wanted to talk about one of the more memorable parts of my entire trip was, um, this might come as a surprise, but it was the wait staff on the cruise ship. And, um, I just want to say excellent, excellent work on, on their part, right? They were, not only did they offer great service, but they always had a smile and were person, personable, you know, <laughs> I, we were able to have conversations with them and get to know them a little bit. And that's really what I'm here to talk about. Is, um, you know, learning people's stories. And I'm not just talking about, like, your friends. The people that are close to you. The people that are your peers. I'm talking about people you don't know. You know? Because everyone has a story. And, you know, no matter what they may, may look like on the outside, there's a lot going on in their life. You know? And, um, you know, I, I know some, I'm sure some people out there, I mean, people that are rude to wait staff, you know, people that are entitled think that like wait staff are meant to serve them and bow to them, that they're better than them. There, those people are out there, you know, the Karen apocalypse of the the twenty twenties, all that stuff. Those people do exist. <laughs> so I know that you know there are people out there that see other people as, you know insignificant but to me other people you know even if they're meant to be serving me <laughs> have their own stories and that's why you should always you know be kind to people you don't know and be kind especially to wait staff and like servants and that kind of thing is because you know they're people too and you know <laughs> having worked in Ser the service industry myself in the past, I can say, you know, <laughs> of course we appreciate it when people are kind to us, you know, but, um, <laughs> soapboxing aside to get to the meat and potatoes here. So on the cruise ship, there was just excellent wait staff, all very nice. And, you know, we really got to know them a little bit. And there was, I mean, on this, on this ship, there were people from all different countries, there were many, many um, workers there from the Philippines, some from Brazil, uh, parts of Africa, Ukraine, all of that stuff. And, you know, I mean, one example is, you know, the workers from Ukraine. I never got to meet this girl, but my grandmother talked to her. You know, it was in, in one of the dining halls and they were talking to her, asking her, oh, you know, where are you from? And she said, Ukraine. And of course, my grandmother said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you know, about what's happening. And the girl su supposedly cried a little bit, and my grandmother gave her a hug and told her, everything's going to be okay, you know? And <laughs> that's just one story. Another was, we had reservations at the dining hall every night, and um, our main server, he um, he was a really nice guy, you know? He was always happy to help us out. <laughs> a few nights in, he confessed to us that, you know, he thought of us like his family because he looked forward to seeing us every day. You know, his own family, he was a man from India, his own family was far away and back in their home country. And his daughter, you know, he spent his one hour of break time out of his 14 hour workday to call his wife and, and child. And his daughter doesn't understand why her dad wasn't home, why her dad can't be home with her. She's I guess, too young to understand that, you know, and just, yeah, to talk about the working conditions a little bit, these people literally work like 14, 15 hours a day, get five hours of sleep, you know, away from their families, barely get any break time. And it's just like, just thinking about all of that, right? First of all, not only is it extremely humbling, but it, you know, <laughs> makes the world seem smaller. Seeing not just on, on the 
the level of what they're doing in their job, seeing all these people from different countries, it makes, you know, meeting meeting a man from India and learning about his life and his struggles and what he's going through is so much more educating than learning about <laughs> Indian history in high school. You know, all of these places and all of these different like it makes it it makes it what am I trying to say it makes me realize that you know they're like they're a real they're real people you know and that that sounds kind of silly but you know these people from other countries I don't you get to see them in my everyday life but on this ship I did and it was just really really cool it was really cool and you know getting to know I mean, like, at the end of the cruise ship, we all, we got pictures with all these people that we made friends with, you know, and they were happy to serve us and we were extremely grateful. And, you know, because the thing is, I, I, you know, like, on, a, on that cruise ship, you know, like, you don't take care of yourself, you just, well, take care of your own things, you know, your bed is made for you every day, you know, you leave dishes everywhere and they're picked up for you. And that always felt weird to me. And, you know, I was, but the thing is, I was very grateful to the people that were there serving me and my family. And we got to know them a little bit. And I feel like that dynamic of servant and served kind of broke down just enough for us to get to know each other. And, um, yeah, so whether it was (laughs) just someone away from their family, someone working hard, all of these, and the fact that they were able to be positive through all of that and have a smile on their face, I don't know. I just honestly think that getting to know these people's stories and getting to see th- these people from all sorts of different countries and just sharing a word with them was by far one of the coolest parts of my trip. You know, as as fun as it was to have unlimited food and go to the pool and see the ocean and all of these beautiful sights. One of the simplest things, just talking to people was one of the most special parts of it for me. So I guess my takeaway here is just, um, simply that, you know, it's important to see people as people and know that they have their own stories and if you have a minute, sit down and get to know them. Because, you know, I'm never going to see those people again in my life. But I'll remember them. I'll remember them for their stories and how they changed me as a person. You know, and made made me a little more, gave me a broader perspective on life, you know. So, <laughs> just getting to know people like that. Just meeting strangers and knowing their stories. And, yeah, I think that's really important really important to just get out there and meet new people and not in the sense of becoming friends with them in the long term but just learning about people because that will make you a more well-rounded person sure i know it made me one so um yeah let me know if any of any times you have learned a really interesting story about someone and um yeah see you around